Mm. Hi, I'm Rene Mass with Alteray Property Investments. Have you considered investing in multiplexes? Well, I'll tell you why you should, or maybe you shouldn't. Stay tuned. So should you invest in multifamily units, five units and above? Well, let me ask you, when was the best time to invest? 10 years ago. When's the second time, best time to invest? Now. So if your investment strategy is long-term, you may want to invest in multiplexes. All right, here are the advantages. You've got economy of scale. You've got one roof to fix, you've got one boiler, one hot water tank, and sometimes one electrical unit, but you want to maybe change that. Disadvantages of it, it's a whole different league. You're dealing with the big players, especially if you're going above 20 units. If you're starting off, I would stick with 10 units. Another disadvantage is that there's really a uh, little cash flow. If you could find cash flow from the start, that would be great. So if you've decided on long-term investing and you're not too concerned about cash flow and you like the appreciation, well, multifamily units may be for you. Here's a few tips. When you want to start off, number one, you want to start off with working with professionals. Now, if you have a mortgage broker who's dealing with residential homes, you can't be using them. It has to be a mortgage broker that deals with commercial or multiplex units. Same thing with home inspector. Same thing with uh, property management. Number two, you're going to have to send offers sight unseen. I know this may be counterintuitive for a lot of people, but this is a very competitive market, especially where I am and where I know a lot of people are. People just throw in an offer without seeing it. This is what you're going to have to get used to. Once it gets accepted, you've got that time to do the due diligence, bring everybody with you on the walkthrough. You're going to have to go through every single unit. And if they're professionals and they've done this before, you're going to save a lot of time and potentially money. Bring your property manager, even bring your mortgage broker with you. And pest control, because I've heard of people having bed bugs with multiplexes and it's not easy to, to eliminate. One little trick I've heard is heat. Blast the heat, it will definitely kill them. But that's another issue, another video to talk about. Number three, once you have it under contract, open up a corporation. Yes, and if you've got investors, even better yet, these investors become shareholders. And the initial investment is simply a loan repayment rather than dividend. This is gonna save you taxes in the long run. Keep that in mind. Number four, your best friend is NOI. NOI, net operating income. So when you walk in there, there's gonna be a stabilization period. There's a time where you're gonna to wanna to increase the income and minimize the expenses. Minimizing expenses may be changing some toilets that are more efficient, LED lights, or simply passing on some of the utilities to the tenants. Maximizing rent, obviously increasing rent is definitely one of them. So the NOI is very, very important. Why? It brings the value of the building. What you want to do after the stabilization period is over, after a year or two, you want to refinance as quickly as possible and recoup your initial investment. Number five, the last tip I would suggest if you're investing in multifamily units is after you've done the stabilization period, after you've gone the a conventional loan or a conventional mortgage, you want to get a mortgage with CMHC. Why? For two reasons. Number one, they'll have much better interest rates than the conventional ones. Number two, you'll be able to amortize for at least 30 to 40 years because then there's cash flow. Then you'll have reserve and then you can put some money in your pocket each and every month. So hopefully this has been helpful. Go out and invest in multifamily units. Enjoy.